Hi, welcome to the first quick tutorial for Logbook Checker. We'll start off by looking at how Logbook Checker loads when you first um, download it from the App Store onto your phone. The first thing it'll come up with is this help screen where it tells you a, a little bit of information which I'll let you go through at your own leisure. But the key thing to remember is help is only a long press away. Just remember that whatever screen you're on, wherever you are in Logbook Checker, just hold down your finger on the screen for about two seconds and a help screen will appear. We'll tap on done here. Now the next screen that comes up is your user information, where you just put in your name. So we'll put in test driver. There's some switches here. One is for BFM, another is for our old counting. We'll go through old counting on another tutorial, but have BFM. If you do have it, BFM and your company has it, you can turn that to on. Put in your accreditation, put in your license number here. Um, most importantly, choose your license state because that's also um, will be useful for your time zone later on. We'll just tap done. We can actually put a signature in, but we won't do that at this stage. Now, the screen that now comes up, which is your home screen, whenever you're open logbook checker, is the log sheet screen. So, on this screen, very basic, there's nothing in here because we haven't had any, added any log sheets as yet. Um, there's a add on the top and there's an edit. If we hit tap on the plus, that allows us to add a log sheet. If you tap on the date, it comes up with a date chooser, so you can change the date, say the 13th of September. You can put information in like your security number, your page number, but we won't do that at this stage. We'll just hit save and that will save that log sheet. We can add further log sheets and notice that it just increments by the next day. And if we put in page numbers and so forth, they will increment automatically as well. We won't add that at this stage. Standard um, gestures that are in uh, on the iPhone apply, so if you swipe, it allows you to delete an entry. So if you had a list of entries, you wanted to delete one, just swipe on it and that will allow you to delete it. We won't do that. Edit allows you to choose an entry and delete it again. That's another way to hit delete, but we'll just hit done at this stage and not delete anything. This little um, blue disclosure button on the right here is to allow you to edit that entry. So if I wanted to change the date on the entry, or any information that I put in wrong, I can do that. We've got the time zone there, I could change that for example to Queensland. Tap on done and save and now it will be in Queensland. Whenever the entries are added, they'll be in Queensland time. Now we've added a log sheet, the next thing is to add log entries. To do that, you simply tap on the log sheet that you want to add log entries for. That comes up with, at this stage, a blank screen if there was entries in there would show all of those, but we haven't added any as yet. To add entries, you have to add an entry every time you do work. Um, Logbook Checker will calculate the rest time between entries, but you need to add an entry for every time you do work. So we'll hit the plus here. In here you put, there's a start time and an end time, and there's other information which is optional. We'll only do the start time and end time for this this um, tutorial. So if I tap on the start time, it brings up a picker. I can choose 1.15, say PM, was our start time. And we finished at 3 o'clock, 3 PM. It tells you how long you worked for, how long since a major break, and so forth. We'll tap done, that gets rid of the entry. There's other information, we won't add that now, we'll hit save that. Now if I want to add another entry, just hit the plus again, and that will allow me to add another entry, say from 3.15 to 4.15. But oh, notice here there's a tap to calculate drive time. What that allows you to do, say I started at 3.15, I can tap here and logbook check will tell you when you need to stop driving and why. It's calculated six hours, which is the maximum you can drive for under BFM. But if I want to change that now back to 8, 8 o'clock, as simple as that. Hit done and 
hit save and that saved that log entry. It tells us there was a rest break, 15 minutes between both of those log entries and the work time was 4 hours and 45 minutes. Notice this first rest break is just an, um, it calculates about two weeks for that first one just to get you going. Notice also there's a green button, this green button on the right here. That allows you to insert a log entry between that log entry and the previous one, which we won't do for 3 to 3.15 because that's not long enough really to add another log entry. But you could do it between this entry and the start, you know, midnight, the start of the day, if you wanted to. Just by tapping on that plus, and it starts at 12 p.m., 12 a.m., sorry. I cannot go for that log entry past the previous, the one that we tapped on. So if I put in 2 p.m., it will come up with a message saying it's got to be earlier than 1.15, which was the time that that, that next log entry started. We'll hit OK, and we'll cancel that for the purpose of that exercise. If I want to add another log entry, say starting from 8.15 and ending past midnight, say 1.15 in the morning, that will add a new log sheet automatically because it's going on to the next day. Um, so Logbook Checker does all that for you. So hit done, hit save. So if I go back to my log sheets, you'll notice there's a, a log sheet for Thursday, the original one we put in, and for Friday. If I tap on that log sheet, notice there was a, a little, um, it's a breach um, icon that's telling you you've done something wrong. If I tap on that, it brings up that breach. It tells you that's a minor breach. Um, the second rest break taking an hour and 15 minutes too late, and the third rest break taken too late. If I tap on it again, it takes away that, so it's just like that. You can go between different log sheets by another way rather than going back. If you just want to go back a day, down a day, you just click the down arrow, or up a day, you click the up arrow. Now, notice on, if I go back down to this page, Work Diary, that, if you tap on that, it brings up Logbook Checker draws your work diary for you. Now, if you put all the information in, it will put that in the right spots. So it tells, this will help you to fill in your driver work diary to make sure it corresponds to what you have put in Logbook Checker. So all the information that you've put in is there. So BFM is marked there. The security number, if you put that in, would be there. Now, this is a toggle switch. So if you tap it again, it goes back to the, the entry. Tap it again, it goes back to the driver work diary. And you can do things like email a worksheet, print it if you have a printer, and so forth, but we won't do that at this stage. The other thing you can do with the most powerful part is these driving statistics. That helps you really plan your week and your day. You tap on there, logbook checker tells you when you can drive next, so the 1.45 in the morning, and how long you can drive for. It also tells you why that's the reason that you have to wait to 1.45 a.m. because you need a third rest break and why you can only drive for an hour and 15 minutes because another third rest break is due. It tells you when you last drove for but there's a whole heap of information below here such as your last day's driving when your next seven hour break is due, your last week's driving, when your next 24 hour break's due, how long you've worked for that week, and the last 14 days. Got information like if you'd been working for 14, or put in 14 days worth of entries, it will tell you how many hours you're going to have released tomorrow or the next three days. That can really help you plan a trip. Um, so that's driving statistics. Also in driving statistics, for example, both of these fields you can edit. So if I tap on 145 and say, well, look, what can I do? Now it's two, it's, um, let me go back. It's 3.45 in the morning. How long can I drive now? It will tell you. It will say two hours and two and a half hours because your major rest break is now due. Or say I don't want to drive for two hours, I want to drive for four hours, when can I do that, hit done, 
and logbook checker says, well, you'll have to wait till you've had your major rest break uh, because all your hours would have been used for that day. So that's a quick guide to logbook checker just to get you going. We will have some further tutorials to show you some of the more powerful features of logbook checker in the future.